A chemical reactant is when two reactants are changed into two or more new substances. For new things that are made, the products have different properties from the reactants. For the new product to be made, you need energy. We can use the collision theory to help us understand how reactions happen. The collision theory means that for a new product to be made, the right particles have to bang together with enough energy to transform into the product. Magnesium. Hydrochloric. Acid. Go to. Magnesium. Alright. Hydrogen gas bubbles. So we can see from that demonstration that the particles have to randomly bang into each other to produce new substances. This is the collision theory. You can look at how fast a reaction happens by looking at how much product is made at a certain time. This is called the reaction rate. There are different things that we can do to change the reaction rate. We are going to explain each of these in terms on the collision theory. Faster, move faster. When we increase the temperature of the acid, the particles move faster, which means that they are more likely to collide. The reaction rate increases. Bobby, you're a gas bubble. You'll be fizzing around. When we increase the amount of the hydrochloric acid particles or the concentration there is greater chance that the particles will collide and form the product. The reaction rate is increased.
spread out the particles. This increases the chance that the particles will collide. The reaction rate increases.